Shavua Tov, a good vach. I'm sure everyone's busy getting ready for Sukkot. But tonight I want to share a story with you about the Rebbe Maharaj, the fourth Rebbe, Rabbi Shmuel, whose yard site was today the 13th of Adar. The 13th of Tishrei, excuse me. Um, there was a person traveling to Lubavitch, a chosid, and on the last leg of the journey in the wagon was someone who was visibly not a chosid. But the only place to be traveling was to the Rav Marash on that particular leg of the journey. So he got into a conversation and the chosid said, what brings you to Lubavitch? Why are you coming to the Rav? So he said, I am a cantonist. Unfortunately, one of the wicked czars, there were many, one of the wicked czars of Russia had a decree to take young Jewish boys, maybe as young as eight, nine, and 10, and conscript them for 25 years into the army, during which the goal was to tear them away from their Jewish roots. Fortunately, many survived, survived Jewishly intact, but 25 years later, they were in a difficult situation. So he says, I came out of the army 25 years later, so I was almost 40 years old, didn't remember very much except that I was proud to be a Jew, and I didn't think I'd have much of a life. Who would marry an old army veteran who's pretty ignorant in many ways? But Hashem helped and I found a nice Jewish girl. We got married, but we were not blessed with children. And someone suggested that we visit the Rebbe in Lubavitch. And I traveled to the Rebbe Marash and asked him for a bracha. And he was very pleased to see me and my situation and that I had survived my, my 25 years. And he gave me a big bracha that we should be blessed with children and happiness. So the chassid says to this guy, so why are you coming now? He said, well, after the Rebbe's bracha, I went home, and nine months later, my wife gave birth to twins. And then a year later, she gave birth to triplets. And a year later, she gave birth to twins. So again, the chassid says, so why are you coming to the Rebbe? He said, I want to ask the Rebbe to slow down the bracha a little bit. It's kind of overwhelming. So, that was his journey. What I want to conclude with is, is that surely we have asked Hashem for many, many blessings. And surely in the course of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, Hashem has signed and sealed us for many blessings. May it be Hashem's will that those blessings be fulfilled in a good and in a revealed good way for all of us. Have a wonderful Sukkot and a wonderful year. Should we ask for quiet in the background?